Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. I've received a couple of requests from people asking me to create a tutorial as to how do we export data from Power BI to Excel. Now this is a very basic thing. I'm going to teach you how to do this. So to teach this, I have a few different visuals here, which I'll be taking as an example. And we will export the data from these visuals and see what does it look like when it is exported to Excel. So let's get started. First of all, I have this particular uh, table over here or a visual over here, uh, wherein uh, we have the item type, we have the image uh, of that particular item type, and then we have the total sales value. If you want to know how we, I have created this particular uh, matrix table over here, you can check out this tutorial here uh, up in the card, uh, or I'll also leave uh, the link to the video in the, in the description below you can check that video out so and then I'm, no, I'm now going to click on these three dots over here and then click on export data so let's export this and call this as image table and let's look at what it exactly looks like so now when I look at image table here I have the item type and then in, instead of the image I get the URL of the image that I have used to import that into the BI and then I have my total sales Likewise, let us see what happens when we export the table over here You can simply click on these three dots and then click on export data and then click on export and let's look at this data set over here which now which we've just exported so we now have the country item type total sales and order prayer, exactly the columns that we had in the Power BI. Now, please note that the Power BI has a limit of 150,000 rows when you export the data to Excel. Please keep that in mind. Now, let's go back to the BI and try and export a little complex or a stacked bar chart uh, over here. So, let's export this and see what happens. So, we now have the new sheet that is created or the new workbook that is created. And then, when we look into this, it basically has all the columns which we have used to create this particular uh, chart. So when we look at it, we have order date, which is year, month, item type, and total sales. This is exactly what you get here. We have your month, total sales, and item type. This is how you export the data from your visuals to Excel. I hope this video has helped you. You have learned something new today. Consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.